Today, I'll be showing you how to put together our ATS, AP, ANT, ART, MNT, UNIV3, Universal, AP, and Antenna Articulating Map. You'll remove the mount from the box. You'll need scissors or clips to remove the zip ties. Inside the box, you'll find all the hardware that you need to put this together. It comes with two I-beam clamps plus hardware. It also comes with two mounting plates, a universal AP mounting plate and a T-bar AP mounting plate. Select whichever plate you want and remove the nuts with a 7mm nut driver. We've set aside our plates. We'll need these later when we install our access point. For now, I'm going to continue to build them out. I need to get all the hardware necessary to install them out out of the bags. We'll take the hardware that we need first, two threaded female knives, and two lock washers. We'll remove the caps off the threaded studs. We'll take one of the side brackets, making sure that this indentation is orientated this way so that it sits flush with the mount. We'll put on our lock washers. Tightening all the way so that the knobs compress threaded washers. And then you'll do this again on the other side. Next we're going to install this piece right here. I'll get the hardware that we need. Two threaded and studded knobs. two lock washers, and two rubber gaskets. I've intentionally left this piece a little loose to make it easier to install. I'll put the lock washer onto the threaded knob, get the feed into the hole, and put the gasket on the other side. I'll feed this hole into there and thread it in.
take these pieces here. Align the gasket. And thread onto the knob. And then I tighten on both sides to prevent it from moving. I will now secure these pieces, these knobs, and then move to the next piece. I'll get my hardware. It's the exact same hardware as before. and we'll install it in similar fashion. Place the rubber gun and align it. Once again, tightening both sides as necessary to keep the plate from moving. Mm. Now you may want to mount this using all thread or I-beam clamps that come with the mount. For that, you'll need to install this piece. I'll show you how to do that now. We'll need to get our hardware. Be sure to take the threaded knob with the longer threads. And we'll need two of those, as well as two more lock washers. I'll we'll flip the mount. on the threaded knobs. And threading the knobs. Now we're ready to attach the access point to one of our mounting plates here. For this installation, we'll be using an Aruba access point. For 500 series and greater access points, Aruba has a pre-installed bracket which we will not need. We'll use a screwdriver remove this bracket. Keep the screws, however, because you'll need those for our mounting bracket. Attach the mounting bracket. In this case, we're using the universal mounting plate. Attach it to the plate using the screws that came with the Aruba. Tighten the screws all the way down, and then you're ready to install onto the mount. Adjust the AP in the slots to your desired position. 
I'm gonna take the four nuts that we removed in the beginning. All that remains is to tighten down the nuts. I'm using a seven millimeter nut driver. And now the AP has been successfully installed onto the mount. Now I'm gonna show you how to install an Exceltex antenna to this mount. We'll be using the ATS OP24513 4R PSP 36 13 dBi antenna. Open the box, remove the antenna. This antenna comes with an adapter plate. We'll attach this to the mount. Moving the nylon nuts. As well as the lock washers. The flat washers. Assemble onto the mount by matching the hole pattern of the studs to our antenna hole pattern on the mount. And then take your lock washer, washer, and nut and attach them to each stud. Now that I've got the nut on there, turn it around. Loosen the mount so that I can get access with my 10 millimeter nut driver. And then tighten it down. And I'll repeat this step for all four nuts. Now that we've attached the adapter plate, we'll want to tighten back up and then we can proceed to attach our antenna. Now we're going to install the antenna. To do so we're going to need to use this hardware along with a 13 millimeter wrench and 13 millimeter socket. Place the antenna onto the adapter plate, aligning the holes, and putting on your hardware. and then repeat this for all four holes.
You may now attach your antenna leads. Depending on your AP and antenna, your connection process may vary. I'll be showing you how to put together our ATS 